and gents, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Short intro again today because we've got lots to do. So if you guys are new to the channel, want to see more of this stuff, hit subscribe, hit like for that algorithm. We have something very, very fun today. Very special, very, very cool. I've driven nothing like it technically, but more on that later. Let's just get there. Let's have fun. Beautiful Monday here in Southeast Michigan. Let's just get to it, shall we? Surprise. We are in the 2019 Aston Martin Vantage and this thing is impeccable on the inside. First impression of the interior. Very cool car. Jeff just mentioned to me there's no glove box, limited storage. There's no trunk release button on the back of the car. So a couple quirks and features we can go over as soon as we get parked and get a couple more shots of the car. But overall, first impression, oh my gosh, this is so much fun, man. When I do these reviews, I seem super giddy. It's because I am, I'm a child, but man, what a treat. Let's let the car get a little warm. I'm gonna do a loop around and come back, I think, into this parking lot. All right, so the door kind of comes up at an angle, which is cool. It is a bit windy outside, so I wanted to hop in and explain some of the interior here first. When you hop in, the first thing you notice is all the Alcantara right here. The entire cockpit seems like you're surrounded by it, which is super cool. Did mention earlier, but there's not actually a glove box in this car. All Alcantara, as far as you can see from the driver's perspective. Also on the door, wraps all the way behind you. Also have the paddle shifters and a few buttons on the steering wheel. So we'll go ahead and power up the auxiliary. The buttons to change modes are on the steering wheel. So we have three suspension settings with this button right here. Looks like plus and then T for track. So this car has three modes, basically sport. If you can see on the right, hit this button, it'll go into sport plus. And then once again, we'll see T for track. Pretty self-explanatory what those do. Stiffens the suspension here. And then track mode opens up the valves, holds the RPMs higher. Typical track performance things um, as far as the different modes. Your paddle shifters are again, pretty self-explanatory. Downshift, upshift. The paddle shifters on this car are not connected to the steering wheel itself, more so on the column. Start stop is over here, as well as your park, reverse, neutral, drive buttons. Um, all of these control the radio nav. We have your uh, start stop button here. You can disable that. Looks like a mute button, traction control off. And then um, classic kind of like Mercedes style um, infotainment system. Do want to mention stock. This car has 503 horsepower from the factory and I believe 500 foot pounds of torque. If I'm wrong, I'll adjust it on the screen. Super torquey car, super fun car to drive. Again, makes all the right noises with a twin turbo V8. If I could compare it to one car we've reviewed on the channel, it would be the AMG GTR from last video. Troy's is obviously tuned and has a few more mods. Um, this one's completely stock. So one very cool benchmark to see what the performance differences are. I can tell you right now the stock exhaust when you're in track mode in this thing is nuts heard a lot of crackles and pops gonna do a couple revs here later on in the video but for now let's explain the exterior here a little bit my absolute favorite part of the exterior is the rear of this car the rear of this car just comes to like a point it almost seems kind of by the rear diffuser and it wraps up the exterior completely that might not make sense but that's just in my own words how i'm explaining it so oh well i've always loved the look of aston martins they are just so sleek and they look so low to the ground well one because they are two because of the exterior styling. Everything just kind of flows towards the back of this car. 20s in the rear, 20s in the front, so it is not a staggered setup, but 295s in the rear and 255s in the front. So we already did an exterior startup of the car, but I wanted to show you guys how it's done inside. Put on the brake, hold this button down for a quick second. And here we go. All right, let's get the radar back on, do a couple little itty bitty pull action. I'm not the owner of this car so I don't want to rip it too much. But big thanks to my buddy Jeff for letting me uh, hang out and drive the car for the day. Super fun car, and it's a beautiful day. Beautiful way to spend a Monday, if I might add. Let's just take it for a quick spin, shall we? So 
you do hear those crackles and pops, everything right with the V8 twin turbo noises, just like in the AMG GTR. This is the stock motor, same exact thing under the hood. I guess we can go to maybe a little secluded location, get some exhaust clips. So I will look for a spot right now and uh, we'll just make our way there. Pretty easy cruise. Must add, everything is so smooth about this car, and it is so luxurious and it's so balanced too. Because it's not like a uh, strictly like a sports track car. You have comfort, you have luxury, all in the interior, and it's so so smooth. So even if we take ourselves out of track mode here, go back into sport mode, which is the comfiest setting in this car, which is funny. <laughs> it feels like a limo, like you're just driving in luxury. So this is, a, looks like a dirt road, but I'll just go in the entrance here. Hopefully uh, not blocking too many people in. Don't want to go down the dirt road. Gonna chill here for now on the pavement. Quick sound check, not too bad. Again, that noise is probably my favorite car noise of any car I've ever driven. Twin turbo V8 noises with all the crackles, you can hear the turbos, that's just wild. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like in real time while you're cycling through the different modes. So, like I said, right now we're in the comfiest setting, Sport. Sport Plus opens the valves, but the RPMs are still low. And then track. Your RPMs go up, you hear some snap, crackle, and pop action in the back, and the whole tachometer turns red, which is super cool. I just tap the brake and it automatically downshifts into a little more sportier gear. Just stuff like that, man, it's so fun. As soon as you let off the throttle on this car, noises just happen, and it makes me smile. Ooh, a little GT3 action. He's just out enjoying his Monday, just like I am for mine. <laughs> Nothing can beat it, man. There are people at work right now. 11.15, they're just ready for their lunch break, can't wait, and then there's just me. And I'm super, super thankful to be in this position where I have such generous friends that allow me to do this type of stuff. It's just so fun. Sometimes it's good to just reflect and be thankful for uh, the opportunities that you have. Driving cool cars, having super great friends, and the ability on a beautiful Monday to be out and about just exploring, having fun, and driving. My favorite things. Wow, that's fun. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna turn that down for a second. Ladies and gents, that is just different. That is exciting, it is luxurious, it's comfortable, it is fast, it is quick. It checks all the boxes as far as like what you want out of a car. For me anyways, luxury, comfort, sportiness, looks, sound, it checks all the boxes, which is insane. This is a 500 plus horsepower twin turbo V8 beast that is so, so fun to drive. Again, so, so thankful to Jeff for letting me have this, trusting me with it for the afternoon. If you made it this far in the video, hit like for the algorithm, subscribe if you guys are new, wanna see more stuff like this on the channel. But that will wrap up this video, ladies and gents. Until next time, we'll see you.